at the Baltimore Comic Convention talking to veteran comic artist Kyle Baker. Thanks for joining us today, Mr. Baker. Uh, thank you. Now, um, I've enjoyed your work for a number of years. Um, I think that it's been some remarkably groundbreaking type of work that you've done. In fact, um, there was a uh, comic series on uh, Nat Turner yes. uh, that you did. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, uh, well, it was the true story of the Turner Rebellion. And uh, I, I'm going to get the year wrong, but it was when slavery was still around. Uh, this was the first successful, well, not, it was the first sort of successful flavor well they caught the guy and he got killed but it it it's widely considered a, a major moment in history because it inspired other people such as Harriet Tubman and Malcolm X and Frederick D all these people got their inspiration from that Turner so even though he got killed um, he's in all the history books but very little is is written about him so I said wow what a great opportunity you know it's rare that there, you have somebody who's that famous that nobody knows anything about so that's why I wrote the book. And now it's at Harry Abrams. I published it, published it myself at first. And because uh, I thought, to, I, I just quit DC Comics and Marvel Comics. And I thought, you know, that uh, it would be great to write a book about a guy who quit being a slave since I had just quit being a slave. <laughs> There was another piece of work that you did uh, called The Truth mm -hmm. uh, that I thought was also particularly groundbreaking. It seems as if you know you have been one of those uh, talents who has you know worked on you know particular projects involving African Americans. Um, tell us a little bit about The Truth. Um, it was based it, it was based on the idea that Captain America and I didn't write it. A friend of mine wrote it. Captain America got his superpowers from uh, he was a soldier in World War II who was given a uh, serum. A medical serum that gave him superpowers and that's how he became Captain America and so my friend who said that would have to be the first time that uh, the army experimented on white uh, on a white soldier <laughs> so he, he made the story more like the Tuskegee experiment like so th uh, this our story was about the guy that they tested this serum on and so he became the original Captain America and it was a fun story well uh, what are you working on Every, every generation has their war comedy. You have your Catch-22 and your MASH, and we don't have one yet for Iraq, so it was inspired by, you know, true stories of just, I mean, it's, I thought it would make a good comedy because there's just rampant incompetence in this war, you know, and uh, the, the re because nobody wants to join, because, you know, 4,000 dead soldiers cuts down on your recruiting, the, um, They've had to lower the standards for recruiting, and there have been a lot of improprieties. And I read a story in the paper where they actually recruited an autistic kid, and uh, they, they they wouldn't let him out. The parents put up a fight. They said the guy's autistic, but he passed the written exam, he passed the physical. He's 18, and he volunteered. You know, they just they'll take anybody. They'll take felons. So my comedy is that, you know, it's a platoon made up of you know felons and. An autistic guy, because the funny thing about autistic people, because I, I work with autistic kids, um, I thought, except for the fighting thing, this guy would make the best soldier, because autistic people love repetition, they love being told what to do, they like a routine, you know, they're very orderly, everything has to be in the right place, you know, if you ever saw Rain Man, you know, so his, his bunk would be clean, his foot locker would be spotless, his gun, you know, he'd probably enjoy taking the gun apart and cleaning it and putting it back together. He'd be a great soldier, you know, except for that one thing of not being able to fight. <laughs> yeah, that one little thing, yeah, <laughs> except that he'd get killed. But in my story, he doesn't get killed. He's the hero of the story and always saves the day. Yeah.